Hey everybody, Joe here. I am back again, and it is once again time for some pickups. First Wednesday of every month, I like to show off what I bought in the month before. You may already know that. What did I buy this time around? Let me show you. Okay, I'm going to start with the modern games because I think one thing is a little obvious already. Kind of excited about this one. Got it on the last day of April, so it fits in this video, and that is the Nintendo Switch. I haven't even docked it yet. I haven't been playing it in handheld mode. I have pulled out the kickstand, set it down, used the Joy-Cons, you know, but I do love the Nintendo Switch so far. One game that I've been playing on it is one that I downloaded, and that is Blaster Master Zero, which, so far, first impressions, very, very positive. I've been kind of excited for this game, and I don't know why. I really liked the NES game, but it's a bit of a harder game. Never got good at it. I haven't played it in quite some time. Awesome music, though. And fun graphics. And the uh, Switch version, not too different. Um... The other game I've been playing, I think you may have seen this behind me in a couple of, uh, or at least one recent video. If not, you've seen it on my Instagram or other social media, me holding up this big honking box. This box is big, it's almost as big as the box the Xbox One S comes in, or at least the uh, launch version of the Xbox One S did. I don't know if the newer ones are any different size, but it's a very big box. I mean... The club pack, the big boxes of cereal. This is like a little bigger than that, you know? Except for maybe like the honeycomb. That one always comes in a really ridiculous box. Probably just full of air. I don't know. I don't eat cereal, but that's beside the point. But yep, yeah, that's the special edition Breath of the Wild with the map and the case and all that jazz. Pretty cool. And one last thing I got the horseback link with Epona. Not as well detailed as. The Archer Link, but still very cool. I do like it. Love the colors. I love the design. Is this? Let me see if I can put my hand over that uh, light down there. Can you see a little bit? Gotta invest in a camera with autofocus for my next DSLR. That's all I gotta say. I had a buttload of points with GameStop. I think I may have mentioned this in a previous uh, video, maybe even a pickups. I think I had close to 70,000 uh, power-up reward points, so I redeemed some of them. Um, and also there was a $10 pre-owned coupon, so I got that. And I bought, let's see, for starters I picked up a brand new Pro Controller for the Switch. Have not tried it out yet, I have not even docked the switch so I get to really play it but just from holding it the feel is very nice the only thing I don't like are the uh, digital uh, trigger buttons analog is I think might have been a little nicer but the action buttons on the face are nice and big the little thumbsticks could have been a little bigger but that's not too bad you know the Xbox One S ones are kind of tiny as well nice d-pad I'll say that that's a very nice d-pad it's pretty firm too it's a very nice feeling controller. Can't wait to actually try it out. You know, lack of space. I'm not even sure where I'm going to plug the dock into. The other thing is I bought at GameStop with those reward points and that coupon. Uh, Telltale Batman. I have all the Batman games in the modern era, so... You know, this is a different beast, but I'd like to check that out. Some of those Telltale games, they look kind of cool, you know, so this will be a nice introduction. And I've heard good things about Far Cry 4, so why not? Not really, don't really know too much about the Far Cry series, but hey, might give it a whirl. Well, I'm going to go on to some Genesis stuff. I'm working forward to back here, you know, modern to retro. And these two games, one's a Mega Drive Japanese game. You know it better as Truxton, but they called it Tatsujin. This is a actual Japanese copy, not repro or anything like that. 
it goes a little cheaper for Tatsujin, but I don't know. This might have a region lock on it. It's the date on it's 89. What's that? 1988. So it might not. It might be good because earlier Genesis titles or Mega Drive titles, Japanese ones, did work in the Genesis if you just shaved the little ends off the uh, cartridge slot. And the other one, this is a repro, so this probably won't work in my Retro Freak or Retron 5, but I got a repro cart of Crusader of Senti because this goes for way too darn much. And this is a game that I've been wanting to check out here. It's very Zelda-like, Hey Buried on Mars. You know, I could always emulate this stuff, but you know, there's still the whole take the cartridge, plug it in the system. You know, it's got that same kind of feeling of like, you know, for those who love vinyl records, you know, taking the disc out of the jacket, laying it on the turntable, dropping the needle down. It's that kind of vibe. I mean, I'm sure older audiophiles might be more into that, but still, it's similar vibe because I used to collect vinyl. I have probably about 350 records in the bottom of my closet somewhere. Used to go to flea markets every weekend. And might be starting that up again since I uh, found three NES games at a very local flea market. It's like maybe a half mile from my house. Cannot complain there. And the three games I bought were Skitter Die 2, Magmax, and Robo Warrior. For some reason, this I've never owned a copy of this, but I've always like seen it in stores and remember this label. I always thought the label was darn cool looking with the little floating skull and the planet in the background and the big robot dude. And it looks like cool, you know, game art. But I wonder if the game's any good. I've never heard anybody say anything about it. Oh, well, I gotta play it and find out. And I mentioned Blaster Master Zero on the Switch, but here's another handheld Blaster Master, Blaster Master Boy on the Game Boy. Don't know why I picked it up, it's just on a whim, but hey. And the last two things to show you are two Atari 2600 games, and these two are, okay, I'm gonna do this one second, I'll do this one first. Sky Skipper, this was an arcade game by Nintendo that never came out in the US, but Parker Brothers made a 2600 version. I hear it's not anything super special to write home about, but the thought of a Nintendo game that was never, you know, the arcade never came out here, That just that background. And then Parker Brothers published it, because, you know, Coleco published the Atari and Nintendo titles, other ones aside from Mario Brothers. And just interesting, you know, Nintendo not publishing games that are their property, but that is, you know, kind of interesting story. And here's a game that I have a ton of nostalgia for. I'm not a sports game guy, but I have a ton of nostalgia for California games. I don't know if that really counts as a sports title, but first I played a lot of it. I never owned this one either, but I've had friends who did. And this is one we played the heck out of because it has like, you know, multiplayer where you're passing the controller back and forth and all, and you can have several players and it's pretty fun. My one buddy, he was really good with the hacky sack part game. The one I liked, I'm trying to think which one was the one I did really good with. The uh, dirt bike and also... Uh, I was able to get the frisbee to just the, the frisbee, you know, toss to actually have the other guy catch it. That's not easy to do. Is that in this version? I know it's in the NES one. I don't remember. But yeah, the dirt bike in this one is pretty good. And there's something else I remember that was pretty good. Or I remember being pretty good, but I don't recall which one it was. I'll have to plug that in one of these days. And there you have it. Here are the pickups for the month of April. So I hope you've enjoyed. I am exhausted. I'm going to pass out. I know it's the middle of the day, but don't care. All right. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.